Welcome back to another video. Today we have She-Hulk and this is from the Disney Plus series. I kind of like the She-Hulk series and it made me enough to go, I really want to buy this because when seeing her figure, I was just like, oh, okay, that'd be kind of really cool. So I kind of really want that one. Hence why buying it. The series wasn't as great as what I thought it was, but that's a, another video at some point. Maybe never, who knows? But I am kind of disappointed with what you get with this figure, especially since you have this huge, massive kind of just like empty space where you get the Ultron kind of addition there. And then obviously you get Jen and then you get or She-Hulk and then you get the two hands. I feel like you could have had a little bit more with this one just rather than rush this out. So open window to see uh, Jen and She-Hulk. A lovely picture right there. On the back, you can see all the other characters. Like, I probably would have picked everyone up to get the Ultron, but I've not seen Moonlight. I don't particularly like it. Um, I've only seen a little bit of Miss Marvel, and then Hawkeye probably would have, but again, not the, the, the best. I probably would have picked up more. But there you go, there is Gem. At the top, you see She-Hulk, and at the bottom is just basic. So let's open up this bad girl and have a look inside. As I mentioned, you hardly get anything. And I feel like this is a whole waste of plastic where you could have added at least another head or something. But let's carry on. Okay, so the figure I think looks fantastic. Now I know there are a few people out there that have had really bad figures, but I think the face looks absolutely fantastic. It's the reason why like, I really like this figure because I feel like it works really well and I was kind of glad to add it to my collection like even looking at this her suit the texture is there is texture there which I generally kind of really like rather than it just being like kind of a plain boring like plastic type thing so I really like the plastic there I well the texture should I say and especially with the purples and the dark purples as well as the gray as well as the green even the face I think looks really like really well done and actually looks like it I've been kind of one of those like things where you're like, oh, do, do, do these faces look just like her? But I'm really glad to see this one does. I'm, I'm wholeheartedly really happy with this figure so far. That may change. That may change. Looking more at the kind of super suit, we have like a bit of like, white as well as brown, uh, brown, purple, and it kind of mixes in. It's a sports gear type thing, which I think looks really, really well. I think if I was to criticize, the joints look a little bit off to me, but again, not bad for, for what it is. And the legs are very basic. There's muscle definition, which I do like, but I feel like that maybe if she wasn't wearing shorts, maybe a bit longer would be kind of cool. But majority is it's just green, which again, isn't bad, but I do like the muscle definition. And then obviously her kind of trainers as well, again, work really, really well. At the back, very, very basic, just literally shoes, nothing major to it, just very kind of plain and basic to it. Not too bad again they're just normal running shoes aren't they uh the joints okay not the best to me but at least they're all right for what they are the back of the figure i actually kind of really like it won't lie i like the outfit again i think it's a really nice outfit uh the hair works really really well and it's kind of strandy it does remind me of the actual tv show they've not just gone for plain black i do like the fact that it's wavy i do like the color i think it worked quite well even when looking at the side of her arms just like that. Again, I think work really, really well and it works perfectly with this figure. So I'm kind of really happy that I actually own this figure. Now, same thing we do with all the figures. Oh, okay, that's actually a really nice smooth, like, oh, even both sides. Dear God, we don't normally get to see that. Again, legs are a bit of a tricky thing. But for what it is, that works really well kind of moving that around not too bad not too bad kind of a bit not restricting there but not bad like i wish the arms would kind of go up properly but kind of like they're stuck there and the head doesn't really kind of move due to the hair it's kind of like you can move it around but you can't turn it all the way around. But yeah, that, that's it for, for She-Hulk right there. The, the only major accessories you get with a figure are punching hands, which I feel like that's really kind of bad. Um, I feel like for the price you're paying for this figure, it's definitely not worth it. 
you know, you get like one leg for, you know, for, for Ultron. And, you know, it's okay and all, but I feel like you could easily have given She-Hulk more kind of things for it. It just seems a, a bit kind of eh. And there we go. There is She-Hulk. I've got to admit, for the price that you're paying, I, I think this was either, I think, $26.99. I generally really don't think the, the price, re like, for what you get with it. Now, the figure is pretty nice, so I probably would say this is more of a £15 figure type thing, or, you know, maybe roughly £20, that's it. But, you know, for, you should be getting some more accessories. I feel like with this one particular figure, you, you hardly get anything. You get two hands, and that's it. And the fact is that she's not really kind of poseable with her hair, like, or the head, like... You know, it's, it's okay for, for this, but, you know, I would like it if she had, like, an angry face or something. It just feels like it's a bit kind of, uh, it's, it's good if you've got open hands, but, you know, you'd think that you'd, you'd bring in another head or something for her. I mean, the figure itself looks really nice, don't get me wrong. I, I generally think it looks all right, but I feel like there's a lot of problems at the same time. Like, there should be more to it. But again, like, I, I just don't know if this is kind of worth the money for it. I know that, you know, I was a fan of the figure. I, that's the reason why I bought it. But if I was just kind of looking over the entire set, I probably would skip this one. You know, probably find, like, Ultron's leg on eBay or something like that to complete that version rather than just what I've got here. But yeah, it's an okay figure. It's not the best. I probably would skip it. But yeah, I kind of wanted to review something a little bit different. And I saw this one particular figure and thought, hey, why not? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. What are your thoughts on the figure? Do you have it yourself? Are you skipping it? Let me know down below in those comments. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video. チャンネル